Hi everybody, it's Tuesday again, and I'm Stacy Dolan with Healing Works, um, empowering you to be yourself and uh, to let go of the things that don't work for you anymore. And so I'm here at, here at Healing Works. I just finished my day, and uh, my topic for today is: Is your comfort zone really that comfortable? So what brought this up as a topic for me is that I started doing some yoga. My friend Krista Streeter uh, invited me to go to a trapeze yoga class. Okay, so I was very intimidated. If you know uh, me or close to me, the, the one area of my life where I don't stretch a lot is my physical body and movement and being athletic. I've always had maybe some insecurities around that area. And it's just been an area that since I've had children, I really just haven't made it a priority. And I always have other things that I need to do more than that. And Krista is a rock star at being in shape. And she is an athletic uh, teacher. She teaches all kinds of things. And she's just super good at it. And she also makes it look like so much fun. And so my little kid, I uh, just wanted to go and play with her when she invited me to go. And then when I got there, I realized, oh my gosh, you know, this is maybe a little bit of a stretch for me. And the teacher who was there is doing this 40-day yoga challenge where you do yoga and you address um, many things in your life and look at things. So, of course, I love that type of program. And one of the things in our assigned reading was, you know, we feel like we can't survive if we get out of our comfort zone. You know, it pulls up all of our fear and our insecurity but um, the question was more, can you survive if you stay in your comfort zone, right? Because we're really meant to grow and expand. And it doesn't mean that every single day of your life, you always have to be challenging yourself and stretching yourself on a constant basis. But, you know, life does bring changes. Hi, Norma. Norma's had a lot of change in her life, uh, too. So um, when things change and as we go through different stages of our life, whether it's like having kids or your kids are growing up or, um, you know, retiring or just any change, um, it requires us to expand. It might require us to make new friends or stretch muscles, mental, emotional, or physical muscles that we haven't stretched in a while. So in my case, it was definitely physical. And so um, I have been going and I have been getting better and the teacher is wonderful. And um, of course, Krista and some of the other girls that are there are very encouraging. And um, I'm just super, super proud of myself. My body is feeling so much better and I've been uh, just feeling more flexible and um, strong. And so it's a huge stretch for me and why in some areas where I have a lot of confidence for whatever reason in that area, my confidence can get easily shaken. And so um, I'm just inviting you to say, you know, is your comfort zone really that comfortable? Because my comfort zone is probably not going, you know, <laughs> taking my dog for a walk and checking it off my list and not going too fast. But, you know, um, your body does change as you age. And, you know, I go through some um, a menopause type things at this stage of my life. And so exercise, I know it. I mean, it's like the best thing that I can do. But, you know, I can always find other things to do. And so that's the area where I'm stretching my comfort zone. And so, you know, this could be in relationships. You know, you could have friends or you, you could have even family where you really haven't set clear boundaries, where there's really some muddiness in your communication and you're really not standing up for yourself or you're really not saying no enough. That, you know, pops up for me and really most of my clients a lot, especially females. Um, so I want to invite you today is like, where is your comfort zone really not that comfortable? Where is it not serving you to just do what you always did? And can you pick just one area where you would try something different, right? Would you, um, for instance, say no to someone that's really hard to say no to? Or maybe tell the truth about something like, hey, I really don't want to participate in that group anymore or I don't want to be president of your organization is one of the ones I talked to a friend about this week. Um, yeah, saying no can be a stretch of your comfort zone. Sometimes it's a lot easier just to go along, you know, just to go along with what you always did. Um, but really being true to yourself means, you know, assessing, you know, are you really happy? Are you really healthy? Um, 
you know, do you want to change something? Hey, Cameron. Um, and so, um, so stretching your comfort zone. So since I like to include oils and, you know, and some emotional release therapy help, you know, when I do my videos, you know, what are the oils that you can use, you know, to stretch your comfort zone? And so this might be funny, but you know, I went and selected the deep blue rub because I'll tell you, if you go and stretch your muscles that you haven't stretched in a long time, you might need some pain relief, right? Or some muscle support. And so the deep blue rub is a wonderful support for that. But, you know, flexible body, flexible mind. You're trying to do some, some things. Oils are sort of, you know, the grease that helps things change. And so stretch your comfort zone. Do something different. Go to a different place. Meet some new people. Um, yeah, if you're used to attending every event, maybe back out, back out. Do something different and something that serves you and feel how much better it feels than being in your comfort zone. And so I don't think that comfort zones are that comfortable. And I think there's always um, a place to grow and change. I also think that there's seasons. There's seasons where you're really happy in a certain situation and then just one day you wake up and you're kind of done. You're kind of done with that group or with that project or that activity or that hobby and it's time to try something new but we just cling because we used to like it so um being present means what do you like now you know you're you're not the same person that you were five years ago maybe not even five months ago and um is your life fulfilling you are the choices that you're making giving you satisfaction or do you feel like um do you feel alive? You know, are you doing what makes you happy? And so deep blue rub. I also picked breathe, right? Because breathing is necessary. And if you do want to get your courage and stretch out of your comfort zone, taking a deep breath is really, really a good idea. And um, breathing really calms the nervous system. It can take you out of fight or flight. And so using the breathe oil and taking some deep breaths can help calm any nervousness or tension or apprehension that you might have so that you can be more present and you can be yourself. I also selected the Aroma Touch Blend, which is a massage blend and it also is good for things like sore muscles and healing the body in a massage type of way. So those are three oils that you could support stretching your comfort zone. And so um, I invite you to comment or if you wanna reach out to me if you want some support and maybe a change that you need to make that you need some support in. I'm available for that with QNRT or oils or um, just to have a conversation about it. So um, anyway, I would like you to question if your comfort zone is really that comfortable and what shift or change could you make in your life that would make you happier or healthier and you are empowered to make uh, changes even if they're a little bit difficult I would promise you that stretching your comfort zone is actually more comfortable than staying in it when you've outgrown it. And so that's my thought for today. And um, I hope this helps you. And um, please give me some comments. So it's nice to see you, Norman. And hey, Cameron. Um, I got to spend some time with Cameron today. We actually did um, a healing session combining the QNRT healing work with her Qigong um, healing work. And um, it was amazing, and there's more to come around that. But that's all, all I'll say about that for now. Um, I'll leave you hanging a little bit. But that's uh, also Cameron and I stepping out and doing something different. You know, we have a great appreciation for each other's healing work and a great respect for one another as healers. And um, I think we're going to do some fun things together. And so... I'm really looking forward to that and I appreciate you listening tonight and I'll see you next time.